Faith, how you doing tonight? So good to see you here on a Wednesday night for corporate prayer and uh, and uh, uh, Bible teaching and and uh, just look look forward to each Wednesday night. We missed you all last week. Where were where were you all last week? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but you know, so uh, yeah, keeping warm and yeah, just, sometimes you never know which direction things are going to go. But I always go for let's go for the safety aspect of things and. And so, um, if you did happen to show up last week and no one was here, I apologize that the word didn't get to you. So, but uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get into corporate prayer. And before we start praying, and if you're new on Wednesday nights, um, and, and you don't, back in uh, the end of um, October, beginning of November, we had our pastors from South Africa that came in. And so you can go into YouTube and you can, uh, you can look for the prayer conference. Uh, it's a picture of John and Sharon on that and has all the different teachings on that. So I encourage you, you know, well, why do you pray this way or why is that happening and, or whatever. And, and for any, any of you, just go back and, and listen to those teachings. And that was listening to them this morning and, you know, just continuing to to um, build our faith and also hear scripturally in how things you know work as it pertains to corporate prayer because remember corporate prayer isn't a necessarily a church service right. so that's why you say well, well how come you know i hear tongues and but i'm not hearing interpretation because it's not a service this is prayer this is corporate prayer and we don't need to have an interpretation because when we pray in the spirit we're praying the perfect will of god he 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 he, he knows what's being he knows what's being prayed right so so you may have questions about those things so I encourage you to go on to our youtube channel and you can you can go back and listen to those teachings and really open your eyes to some amazing revelations revelation about corporate prayer and what we're trying to do here is building a house of prayer Amen. you know uh, back in uh, in october when we had our anniversary service uh, the Lord talked to me about, you know, who we are as a church. So we already know why we exist and what we're called to do and how we accomplish it. That's experience, equip, and engage. But the who we are, a house of faith, a house of prayer, a place of glory, and a people of influence. And, you know, and with that, Dr. Sell heard me minister that. And he said, you know what, I wanted, I wanted to turn that into a book. And so they're turning that into a book, and they want that to go to all our heritage of faith churches around the world. And so people know who, who we are as a church. And and those things because I believe that's very important for us as we in these last days. Amen. Amen. I'm going to read something to you um, before we start praying. Um, this is from Dr. Savell, and he spoke this in the South African church in 2018, and he says, prayer is vital. God does nothing until someone prays. Prayer is what welcomes the presence of God. If you truly want him, then do whatever is necessary in prayer. Every major move of God has come on the wings of hunger and prayer. It doesn't take the whole church wanting it, but why doesn't the whole church pray and believe it? Revival or a mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit is a profound encounter with God that requires discipline, preparation, hunger, prayer, and believing. To think that we will have a mighty move of God without prayer is foolish. Look at the place that prayer took in bringing the move of God in in the book of Acts. We need to start praying for Holy Ghost invasions. We have crossed a threshold in God's timetable. There's a price to pay, and not everyone in the body of Christ is willing to pay it. It means coming to church when you don't feel like it. It means coming to prayer meetings when you don't feel like it. Ask of the Lord. As soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth. As soon as God's people pray and ask and call for it, then they bring forth. God's people are required to bring it forth in prayer. When the body of Christ begins to pray more, when the body of Christ begins to pray more, it's not just going to happen and one day we just walk into it. God's people are required to pray it in. Amen. Amen. Pray in the spirit. We don't always know how to pray as we ought. It's time to cry out to God. And so as we pray, as we begin prayer on Wednesday nights or whether it's in, in our prayer room on Sunday mornings at 8 a.m., you know, we always start praying off based on, on 1 Timothy chapter 2 where I exhort you, first of all, brethren, to pray for all men that are in authority. So we pray, we pray for our nation, and we pray for our president, and then we go in and we'll pray for our city. Uh, we'll pray over Dr. Savell. Uh, Annette will pray over me tonight, uh, and, we'll, and then we'll pray over our church body and church family and how the Holy Spirit directs. So, so well, let's get started. Oh, Father, we as a church lift up our nation to you today. Thank you, Father, that we can be a constant voice in the heavenly realm. 
We pray prayers of faith today that you can work with to bring about great changes in the political scene of the United States of America. We declare in the mighty name of Jesus that mighty is the Lord who is the victor for the destiny of this nation. We have asked for this nation, Lord, as our inheritance. You are the Prince of Peace over the United States of America. You are the Lord of the harvest over the United States of America, and you will reap your declared will over this nation. We declare that foundations are shifting and shaking in this nation, and we as your church are your instrument to execute judgment on the works of darkness in this nation. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we, we, are, a, we're a contest, we are continuing to contest in the spirit over any abuse of power in this nation. We speak healing to this land. We declare every form of racism to be gone in the name of Jesus. We declare that unity abounds in this nation. We declare that this nation is prospering and this nation is unified. We come against any and all voices that would be hindrances to unity. We come against any and all voices that would continue to perpetuate division. We speak the government of heaven in this land. And we declare that what is in heaven would, would be declared on the earth and declared in this nation. Hallelujah. So, Father, we pray in the Holy Ghost. We pray in our heavenly language, Father, over our nation. We don't know exactly what our nation needs, but you do. And so, Father, we pray in the Spirit over our nation now in the name of Jesus. Ye ne ne ma kondo rogo to rogo to robogo to rabaya ye dele mo gomande le bakate re de gisto mo zongondo rogondo rogo to robogo to rabaya mo sete re de de bogo to rabaya e kele mo koma mande le gisto koto rabaya e kele mo gomo gonde rende de de gisho koto rabaya no zongondo rogo to robogo to rabaya Ye te re de 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 gi shongondo roboka me se te rogoto raba me ze de robogoto roboshe ye te re de gi sto koto robo no so to ra de de di isho so robogoto ra mande leste e ke te le monde le di isho to ra ba ya ye la mando roka te di isho so ra mande li kondo ra ba ya ye ke to sho to ra ba Ye te rongo de le de di isho ko rabaya yo ramande ringe de di isho ko to ramo no so to rande le de gi isho ko rabaya oh we thank you father we thank you for working in this nation we thank you for moving in this nation hallelujah we thank you father that light is exposing darkness in this nation Hallelujah. I thank you, Father. Any hindrance, Father, from those coming to know you, those hindrances are brought down by the light of the gospel. Thank you, Father, that blinders are removed. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, that the gospel is being spread across this nation. Thank you, Father. Eyes of understanding are open. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, to receive, to receive, to see, to see Jesus high and lifted up. Hallelujah. Thank to see Jesus high and lifted up. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I thank you for every opposing voice of the gospel. Hallelujah. To be silenced. Hallelujah. Whether that voice is from Hollywood, whether that voice is in the news, whether that voice is from atheist scientists, whatever it is, I declare those voices are silenced. And I declare that light, light is manifesting in this nation. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father, that light is manifesting yes. in this nation. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, and we lift up our president to you. Yes. We lift him up to you, Father, and we thank you, Father, for your hand resting upon him Amen. as your hand rested upon Cyrus. Thank you. We thank you that your hand rests upon him. I thank you that he is always in the right place at the right time, yes. doing the right things with yes. the right people. Yes. Thank you, Father, that his eyes are open. Thank you, Father, that he is, he is led by your spirit. He is guided by your hand. Right. We thank you, Father, as Proverbs says, that you, you guide and direct the hand of those that are leaders. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. 
And Father, we, we pray in the spirit over our president. We don't know what, what, what's going on in, in his life. We don't know what, he, what's, what he's facing. We don't know what he's facing uh, personally in those things. Father, we don't know all the things that come across his desk. So Father, we pray in the spirit. Father, and as we pray in the spirit, we're praying in the spirit over, for the good of this nation. Hallelujah, for the things that come across this desk, for the good of this nation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's pray in the spirit over our president, all that he must accomplish for the good of this nation. Yondolo gondo rogo torra mogo mamande yi Yodo shon gondo rogo torra mande le ke te re de gi sto So ko ta te Ye te la mando ragi tor rogo Do she te le de 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 gi tor romonde Ye de le gi di ando logo torra mogo mamaya Ye di di i sho kondo logo torra bai Ye te ringe ne de ne i sho so rogon de ringe de de di isho ko rabaya O ramande legi di isho ko to ramande Ya ta ri isho to robosa Ha yinde le mando rogo sho to rabaya A romosa te ri gi isho to rabaya A ramande riga to roboso Hallelujah, thank you Father Thank you Father Hallelujah. Father, we rejoice. We rejoice in what you're doing in our nation. Oh, I praise you, Father. We praise you for what you're doing in our nation, what you're doing in our president, what you're doing in our House of Representatives, what you're doing in our Senate, and Father, in, in, in our judicial system. We, we thank you, Father. We, we rejoice in your hand and all those that are in authority. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, we thank you for it, Father. We praise you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Annette, I want you to pray over our city. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We seek and we require and request the peace and the welfare of our city, Lord. You have caused us to live here. Therefore, we have authority here. So we pray to you for it, for our city. Your word declares that when things go well in our city, it will go well with us. So we now pray for the peace, the welfare of South Fort Worth, Crowley, Burleson, and the surrounding areas. We pray for the spiritual development, the unsaved, those that the Lord will add to our church. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Psalms 127.1 says, Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain. That build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. Here is where we pray for the lost. We're praying for the lost, the unsaved in this city, the people that the Lord is ministering to right now. And I thank you, Father, as we go around our city and we go around day to day doing things that you will lead us, guide us and direct us to be a, a voice for you to the people in our city, Lord. We ask you, Father, that you grant that the people in our city will repent and come to know the truth. Yes, Amen. Yes, they will come to their senses and escape out of the snare of the enemy yes, where they're being held captive by thank him. You, I thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for men and women, boys and girls that are coming to know you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we pray now in our heavenly language, Thank the you, perfect Father. prayer Hallelujah. for our city and the people of our city. No songarabra, no songarabra saki. 
ishaka ishaka labo ne ne mesheke mo sobrati lendebe lendebe shi mendebre si kabosho kola mandara ere rebri nesheke o labrata tata o robrosho kola batara brasi yes Yes, we praise you. We thank you. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes. Oh, praise you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Ooh, glory to God. Praise you, Jesus. Hmm. Thank you, Father. Amen. Yes, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Mm, mm. Thank you, Jesus. Our prayers are effective. Mm, the prayers of the righteous men and women are effective. Amen. They availeth much, yes, the Father. word says. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we believe we receive when, when we, we pray. pray. That's right. Hallelujah. That's it. Thank you, Father. As we pray, we're setting paths. Ha ha. We're Thank setting you, paths Father. as we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. That the people in our Thank cities you, will Jesus. walk out. <laughs> they will you, walk Father. in the paths that Hallelujah. we've already prayed. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. You, Jesus. Praise Whew. you, Father. Glory to God. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Now we'll pray over Dr. Savell. Hallelujah. Jesus. Father, we lift up Brother Jerry now in prayer to you, and we thank you for yes, taking care Jesus. of all his and Miss Carolyn's personal aspects yes. of their life. Amen. We declare that they are blessed in their marriage. Their finances yes. are blessed. Yes. They're Hallelujah. blessed in their family life. Amen. Their yes. children are blessed. Their thank grandchildren you, are blessed. Yes, we agree. We thank yes. you that they're always in the right place at the right time, right. doing the right thing yes. with the right people. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank we thank you for Jesus. all the revelations that must come to him right. from you at this time for That's the body right. of Christ. Right. We you, declare Lord. that they operate in the fullness of the giftings that you've called them to. Amen. The fullness of an apostle, yes. the fullness of a prophet hallelujah. in this season, in this phase thank of ministry. We declare, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, they come behind in no gift, right. but they are enriched in yes. all things. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. We thank you for thank it, Father. You, Father. Thank you, we Jesus. thank you, Father, for all his upcoming meetings. Yes. We thank you, Father, yes. for his meeting at Ovation Church. We thank you for yes. his meeting in Little Rock on Sunday, yes. his meetings in Paducah, Kentucky on That's Monday. Right. We right. lift up all those meetings, Father. Yes. Hallelujah. We thank you that those meetings will be divine appointments with Amen. destiny, Hallelujah. Father, for those communities That's and for right. those cities. And it will be life-changing. It will be yes, life-changing for those communities, life-changing for those that attend. Amen. Yes, Lord. <clears throat> we thank you that Jerrysville Ministries and Chariots of Light and Heritage of Faith in every aspect and outreach of Jerrysville Ministries Hallelujah. is increasing and expanding Amen. in every way. Yes. Yes. We thank you, Father, for opportunities yes. in doorways and pathways <laughs> on every available Lord. voice. Lord. We yes. thank you for it. Thank so let's pray in the Jesus. spirit over Dr. Savelle and Miss Carolyn and the things they're called to. Yes. <laughs> El bogo shoko tod rabate ke ted re de ye ted ro bogo tod rabande le de de gi tod ro bogo tod re ba ye ted re de ge tod ro bogo tod ra ba el de ge ted re de gi shoko tod ro bogo shoko tod ra ba ye meshe de belen de re el bogo tod rabande le ge shta ka ted re de de ge ted re de de gi shoko ra ba ye Hallelujah, thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Father, we pray for Dr. Savell that utterance may be given unto him. Yeah that he may open his mouth boldly to make known the mysteries of the gospel for which he is an ambassador. We thank you for it, Father. So be it. Hallelujah. So be it. Glory to God. 
Hallelujah. Thank we you, thank Jesus. you, Father. Oh, praise you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Can I read this scripture? Yeah. This um, Acts 4, 29 through 31. This is about the results of our united prayer. It says, and now, Lord, observe their threats and grant to your bondservants full freedom to declare your message fearlessly. And it says, and when they had prayed, the place in which they were assembled was shaken. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And they continued to speak the word of God with freedom and boldness and courage. Mm, thank you, Father. The people and the circumstances were changed as a result of their specific and united prayer. I believe that. I believe that as Thank we come you, together, as we are faithful in coming together, Thank you, we are the planted, right? We Thank are the, you, the faithful. Psalms 92 talks about the faithful, the righteous shall what? Flourish. Thank you, Amen. Yes, Lord. We are flourishing. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I'm going to pray for Pastor Justin. If y'all will just agree with me. Thank oh, you, thank you, Father. We pray thank for you, Pastor Justin's revelations that the Lord must give him for us. We pray for the fullness of all of his gifts and callings and anointings. In his fullness, we receive fullness and we mature fully. We pray for him in all of his comings and goings at any time. When he's planning and preparing, Father, for messages, I thank you that you are there, right there with him, giving him the words, Lord. I thank you that he is a sent one. He is a called out one. I thank you for a greater teaching anointing and a preaching of the living word, Father, to correct us and change us and give us instruction. I pray for a greater anointing, Lord to teach new revelation, things that we need to hear and walk in in order to get to our own promised land. Father, I thank you that we are becoming the exact representation of the Lord Jesus Christ in this earth because we are learning from the things that you are giving to Pastor Justin, Father. Oh, hallelujah. We're going to new levels in our spiritual growth. Yes, Lord, as he's going to new levels, we will go to new levels. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, and Lord, now we pray in the Holy Ghost, the perfect prayer, united in one spirit over Pastor Justin. Ombrati, ombrati nama, ne ne me shelende be robro carabrasi, onda lambra shi carabro soko, ne ne be shi la mandara, rebre se ke, rebre se ke, ne me ne be shelende be, rokora bra, rokora bra sananda bashi. Mende besi, lo rabranda da da rabro, lo rada ro rabra shakanda basi, mboshi embeshi kanana nana, non desi, non desi, lo rabra nikishaka, mende, mende rebresheke, o boshi kirabra, no no monda landa ri rabro rabra si da basi, mende be rabra, o da bashi kabasi, lende beriaka, o bashi katanta rabro, nene me le bende de de rebre, o da bashi kirabro. Oh, praise you. Praise you, Jesus. Oh, thank, oh, you, thank you, Father. I receive that. I receive thank that. You. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And Ephesians 6 tells us, and take the word yes, praying. Jesus. And take yeah. the word praying. Thank you, Lord. So he's with the, with the word, what the apostle was talking about there, it says, in the word that I give you, take that word and praying. Praying that word. That's it, establishing it. And as you pray that word, it's establishing that word. The things I brought to you, That's that it. those things would be established in you. Amen. And so the word that we've been given as a church this year is that 2020, God is opening a new door and bringing about supernatural increase like never before. So we're going to, for a moment, take that word and we're going we're gonna to pray, pray over that word 
for this church body. Amen. Because sometimes it, it, it could be eyes being open, wis yeah. wisdom. Wisdom's yeah. a principal thing. It could be relationships. It could yeah. be divine appointments. It yes. could be different things of what, what that door means and what supernatural increase means to different ones. It could have to do with marriage. It could have yeah. to do with, with God bringing, bringing a spouse into your life. It could be a lot of different areas or avenues, but we're going to take that word praying. Woo. That 2020, God is opening a new door and bring about supernatural increase like never before. Also, as we pray as that word, it's also things, whether it's for me or Dr. Svelte, continue, continue to get revelation. Me That's to right. get revelation on right. what we need to walk in that word. That's Amen? Right. Hallelujah. Right. So let's pray in the spirit over that word. Amen. First, let me pray in my understanding. Father, we receive that word yes. as a word from you. Amen. Because we know your word is, it was sent. To, to prosper us. It, your word was sent to increase us. Yes. We thank you that, that your word, Father, your will and your, your commandment and your, the covenant yes. that we have, the Abraham covenant, yes. is a covenant of an increase. So we know Hallelujah. increase yes. is your desire yes. and yes. your will right. for our lives. Right. So Amen. we receive that yes. as a promise Jesus. to us. So, Father, I thank you that this church body is walking in supernatural increase. We thank you that lives are coming up, coming up, 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 up. We thank you that promotions are happening. We thank you that bank accounts are increasing. We thank you that relationships are increasing. We thank you that increase is happening in every area of our lives because that word has been released over this body. Amen. And the words that we've Thank spoken, you, the seeds that we've sown, we declare that supernatural increase is ours. Amen. Supernatural Amen. increase is, is part of the life of Heritage of Faith yes. Christian Center. Yes. So we thank you for it in Je Jesus' name. Let's pray in the spirit over this word. Hallelujah. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah for increase in the anointing. Yes, yes, Increase, hallelujah, the glory of God increasing. The glory increasing in our services. The glory increasing, the anointing increasing. The anointing, the anointing to work with your hands. The anointing, the anointing to minister. The anointing to prophesy, the anointing, the anointing for business, the anointing, the anointing, the anointing to parent, the anointing, the anointing, hallelujah, to teach, the anointing, the anointing to hear, the anointing, hallelujah, the anointing, hallelujah, increasing, increasing in every way, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Father. Yes, Lord. We praise you. Hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. We praise you. We hallelujah. praise you. We thank, thank you for Father. answered prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, you for answered prayer. Yes. Hallelujah. We praise you. It's done. It is done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Oh, yes. hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> 
Thank we you, Father. We will walk out the answered prayer. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes, amen, oh, and amen. For, and Father, we pray over our church family. We pray Thank over the health Jesus. of our church family. That's right. Every we declare individual. that our church family yes. is operating and living and walking in divine health. Divine health, yes. We declare that they, that, that our church family, they're, they are whole. They are Good. healed. Amen. They're operating in the fullness. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. They, are, they are operating in thank the fullness you, of what you've called them to. That's right. I thank That's you, Father, right. that this church body, yes. I thank you, Lord, that they hear your voice and a stranger's Amen. voice they don't follow. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Father, that our church family, they are always in the right place That's at the right, right time. Amen. Doing the right thing with the right people. That's right. Thank you, Father. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that, yes. that, that they, are, they are a strength and a, and, and, and a, and a peace and a blessing everywhere they That's go. That's right. Amen. We thank Hallelujah. you that, that, that our, our church thank family, you, the joy of the Lord is their strength. Yes. Amen. Thank you that they don't operate according to their own understanding, right. but they operate according to the word. That's right. Thank Amen. you, Father, that they are Amen. they are becoming sharp. Yes. They are Hallelujah. becoming people of influence. That's right. Thank Glory you, Father. Thank Glory you that they are marked God. with blessing. That's right. That's Hallelujah. Right. Thank oh, you, Father. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you. Hallelujah. Thank you that your blessing is upon the people of heritage That's of faith. Right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you. They are blessed coming in and blessed going out. They are above only and they are not beneath. Amen. Amen. They are strategic. Thank you, Father. They are led by your spirit. Right. They are not led by their flesh. That's right. They're not led by the impulses of their flesh. That's right. Thank Amen. you, Father, that our church yes. family and church body, yes. hallelujah, they are not like the rest of the world. That's right. Amen. Thank you, Father. They, they heed the call of 1 Corinthians, That's that it. they come out from among them and they are separate. Yes. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank That's you that right. they are sanctified That's and they're right. set apart for yes. the master's Jesus. use. Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Let's pray in the spirit over our church family. Yola na mande re de 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 gitor ro bo go tor ro mande le de de gitor ra baya yende le mando ro go tor ro go tor ra maya yende le gete re de 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 gishon go tor ro bo go tor ra baya we declare every assignment yes. against our church yes. family is broken. Yes. Hallelujah, we yes. bind the yes. enemy. Right. We come against yes. any all accidents. Yes. Hallelujah, we declare yes. angels surround about our people. Yes. Hallelujah, thank yes. you that yes. they are, they, yes. they, are yes. they dwell in the secret place Amen. of the Most High. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank you that, 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 yes. that they are far from oppression. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank you. Hallelujah. Yes. That no virus, yes. no flu. No. Hallelujah. Thank no you, demonic Father. disease. That's right. They're Hallelujah. Old. No They're virus, no bacteria. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Reigns or rules in their Glory. body. Glory. I declare Glory. hallelujah. Glory. Any virus yes. touches their body, those That's viruses it. die. Yes. Hallelujah. With long Jesus. life, you satisfy yes. them. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. long life, you will satisfy Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. With long life. Long life. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Your Thank life. you, Father. Yes, your life. We praise Hallelujah. you for it, Father. Yes. Thank Hallelujah. you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Life. Glory Hallelujah. to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Vic, come praise up here. Praise you. I want you to I want you to pray over marriages. Marriage. Her, marriages and heritage of faith. Amen. Heavenly Father, I come before you Thank at this you time, Jesus. Father yes, God. Father. And Father, we just ask that you look on these marriages today, God. Satan, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Father God, I just declare that no weapon that is formed against these marriages shall prosper. And God, every tongue that rise up against each marriage and judgment, you will condemn. For this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Oh, God, we just love you. We honor you. We worship you and we praise you. We thank you, God, that you are raising up men and women in the church to be who you called us to be, who you created us to be, who we are in you, God. We thank you for that, God. We thank you, God, that marriages are strong, God. We thank you that marriages are increasing, oh, God. We thank you, God. God, we thank you for your love, God, for each and every one of us in this church today, God. 
I come against Satan and all of his forces that come against your people. Satan, I bind you and all of your forces. I render you helpless and inoperative against any marriage in this church in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise, we give you honor, and we give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Pray in the spirit over marriages. Zora baba bagande rende de 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 gisho kote de de baya. Jo bro tarra baka te de 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 gito de baya. Non de 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 bogo shongande lege te de beki tarra baya. Yondo rogondo rogonde lege de de bo osho kote de baya. Gende rande legi sto robogo te de 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 gisho. O kande lengende le munda ramande de geti to rogo to rabai. Yet Ramande legate Rabogo Shokoto Rabaya Yende legito Rogoto Rababake Dor Rande de Shokoto Rabogoto Rabaya Hallelujah Eyes open Ears open Hallelujah Thank you Father Hallelujah Thank you Father Hallelujah for strong marriages Hallelujah 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 Thank you Enemy, you, you can no longer, hallelujah, divide and conquer. So we declare oneness, the vision of what God sees in marriage is, is oneness. And we declare what God, the vision of marriage has, that God, the, the, the God, God's vision of marriage is oneness. And so we declare that vision being fulfilled over the marriages of this house. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, Father. So, Father, we settle this time of corporate prayer. We believe we receive when we pray. Hallelujah. We have what we pray. That's it. That's it. Amen. Thank you, Father. Every word that was spoken in another tongue by the perfect will of God, we declare we have it. Amen. And so, Father, we rejoice in the manifestation of what we prayed in Jesus' name. Rejoice. Give him praise tonight. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you for it, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We praise you for that tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Ooh, you receive that tonight? Now, it, it just excites me to know that when you understand corporate prayer, that we do business with God. Amen. And you understand that we're just not, we're just not saying words, but we, we really believe this. I really believe this. You see, if you don't, one of the main reasons of why people don't pray is, number one, sometimes they don't feel like they're righteous enough to pray. Another is, is, is they don't really believe in it. It's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not something you really believe in. It's, well, you're supposed to. But if you understood and received the understanding of the power of prayer, then, man, what would stop you from praying? Wow. So you need, when you come here on Wednesday night, you need to settle in your heart that, that hey, man, we're about to do business with God. And, and I'm telling you, our nation, our community, our schools, hallelujah, they don't, they, they don't, they don't, know, they don't know what's going on. You know, they don't know what's going on. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, they had the Oscars this, this past week. And, and, and the thing is, now, now, now think, think about it. They... They don't know what's going on. They're, they're, God's doing something. And, they, and they're wondering, well, we don't know why. We don't know why. It's like 20% it's like lower viewers from the years before. Yeah. They, they, don't, they don't understand. It's why? Because people don't care. They don't care. 
I mean, and, 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 and the more and more as, 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 as Jesus is approaching and, and we take our position in prayer, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what you hear in the news or you see going on. I mean, what you see in the news and things happening, I'm telling you, is, is probably only 5% truth. And so people will spend all their time on those things. And, and the thing is, is why we have to stay over in prayer is that's where you change things. So you just sit back and you pray. And then all of a sudden you, you see things that happen in here and you see things happen in here. Like, see, God's doing something. God's doing something. God's doing something. Well, what if it doesn't come out the way? I'm just going to keep praying because because it's God has the final word. I just have to take my place. We have to take our place. Right. Amen. Well, before I get in the word tonight and tonight's message, let's go ahead and receive our tithes and offerings. So if you need a cash envelope, there's one in the seat back in front of you. You know the different ways that we give. Remember, tithing and giving is not a debt we owe. It's a seed we sow. I, 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 for, for me, for a long time, it, it's, there was this, this overwhelmed thing. If, if I don't give, then the devourer isn't rebuked. Or if I don't give, then this isn't. If I don't give, then this is. If you have that mentality, then really you're giving out of fear, not faith. When you're not giving because you love God and faith works by love. <laughs> so, so really, if, you know, just you have to have this understanding. You have an understanding that, the, that it's, it's, it's part of me connecting with my covenant. Amen. Giving is part of me connecting with the covenant. So, so as I'm connecting with the covenant, the devourer is rebuked. As I connect with the covenant, the windows of heaven are open unto me. As I'm connecting with the covenant... And so it's all based on not, not some, some, because I owe God something. <laughs> there's, there's not enough money that will ever be in your pocket to pay God back for your salvation. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So let, let's go ahead and give tonight. Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to give in your kingdom. And Father, we thank you, Father, that our heart overflows with gratitude. And because our heart overflows with gratitude, we can't help but live a life of generosity. So we thank you, Father, that, that finances are, are just a constant, constantly flow through our lives because we live to give. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Ushers, you want to receive the offering. Receive the offering. Uh, don't forget, if you haven't already, make sure you they have these cards in the lobby. Uh, I encourage you, on the back of it, it's information on how you can download the church app. And from there, you can do everything from give to, to register an event, to check in your children, to change. This is a big thing. <laughs> if you've moved or you've changed your phone number or you have a new email address, please, you can go on that app and you can change it. That's, that would really help us out a lot. It would be so nice because there's times where people, God puts people in my heart for me to call. And, and I'm like, is, is Joe there? No, there's no Joe here. <laughs> You know, or is there, you know, I'm trying to get a hold of someone and, and just think I might have in my heart to give you a thousand dollars and you know you're, and, you, and I, had the wrong, wrong, I had the wrong number. You never know. It's just, and, uh, <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> but anyway, it's so important because it helps us stay connected. And, and also, if you register your children on Sunday mornings and you register, register, register them once and you go online and do it, you don't need to put your name and all that again because sometimes we go in and we, we'll have like four, we'll have like four Rochelle Boone. We haven't, but I mean, we'll have like four of these people and it's like, it's like, wow. And they'll have, the, it'll be like the first name and the last name, first name, middle name, last name, and junior. And so it's like we have the same person listed like four times. So, so when you do that, you, if you're already in the system, you don't have to go in and put people in new because what happens, it kind of gives us a database that's kind of like, it's hard to work with sometimes. And that way you might get like three letters from us or all sorts of stuff. But anyway, I'll stop rambling and get into the word. Amen. So we are a house of prayer and we are a house of faith. And so that's what I've been dealing with this first part of the year on Wednesdays is a house of faith. So if you have your Bibles, turn to Hebrews chapter 11. I encourage you, if you have missed any of these teachings uh, on Wednesday nights or Sundays, make sure you go back and listen to them. Um, <clears throat> one of the things just Annette and I have been big on is, is listening to what God's, you know, speaking to this house. Right. And, you know, you can be listening to so many different people, but if this is your church, then then you should be meditating what's on this, in this house. It's okay to listen to other people. I don't, that's, that's all bonus stuff. But you really need to feed on what's happening in this house. 
Is that, is, that, is that because I'm prideful in myself? No, not at all. I'm, man, not at all. It's just a matter of, of if this is where God's planted you, then you have to meditate on what's happening here. And because that's what's going to, what, that's how you go back and listen to those messages on, on the corporate prayer, because it, it's, it causes you to step into your promised land. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, says, But without faith, it's impossible to please him. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. So, so far in this year, we've, we've talked about how faith, faith is precious. We've talked about how faith is powerful. We've talked about how faith pleases God. So without faith, it's impossible to please God, for he that comes to God... He that comes to God must believe that he is. Say he is. He is. So this, this faith in this pleasing God, pleasing God and coming to God is believing that he is. He. He. It, this, this faith aspect is all about relationship. It's relational, Jeremiah. He. It's not, it's not faith in a what. It's not faith in a... What meaning a process or a denomination. It's not faith in an idea, but it's faith in a person. And so often we ha try to have faith apart from the person. It's not having faith in our faith. That's right. But it's having faith in God. Amen. And, and, and so often people try to have faith in their ability to quote a scripture or their ability to pray good, or their ability to yell louder than someone else, or do this or do that, but it's really having faith in God. It's not about, it's not about how loud you yell, it's about who do you know. It's not about how many scriptures you've memorized, but it's who do you know. It's, it's in a he, it's having faith in a he. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. For he that comes to God must believe that he is. And he is a, and he is a rewarder of them that diligently, diligently seek him. So this whole aspect that I've been dealing with on faith so far is... is is, is faith is not a movement, it's not a, it's not a message, <clears throat> it is a lifestyle. Amen. The just shall live by faith. This is how we live. Matthew 17 says, if I had faith that was living like a mustard seed. And I talked about what living faith is. And living faith is seen in trust. How can I tell if my faith is living? It's because trust is there. Trust. trust. How, how do I know my faith is alive? Because I trust. Trust. The other, other day I was um, trying to remember where we, we were at. We were, uh, my, Brent and I were somewhere and we were waiting, waiting for something. And, and he, he stood, I, I didn't know what, what he was doing. He folded his hands, he standing next to me and then all of a sudden he folded his hands and he went like three steps in front of me. And I'm like looking this way and I'm like, what? I was like, where'd he go? And I look, and as I'm looking back, he's falling backwards and, and I catch him. <laughs> but, but, but I'm like, did he not know I was not paying attention? <laughs> but the point is, is because I'm his father, he, he, he thought I was paying attention <laughs> And so he just fell backwards. He was doing a trust fall without the person, you know, watching, but pay, paying attention, you know. And, and so I was like, I, ca I called him, but, but the point was he just, he just knew that dad's paying attention. I'm here, and, and he's, he's going to catch me. Yeah. <laughs> See, he had, he had a faith that was alive. See, you can have belief, you can have faith that, that yeah, he can catch me. But that, that isn't proven until he started falling back. So faith is alive when it is seen in trust. Now let's go to Psalms chapter 9. 
Psalms chapter 9. And it's interesting how the Holy Spirit has been ministering to me on trust because it's stretched me in, in how I've taught on faith in the past and seeing it a little differently. Because sometimes you can hear a message on faith. Oh, I've heard messages on faith before. I've heard that before. But I love when the Holy Spirit says, you know, the Word of God is inexhaustible. Mm-hmm. Amen. And so this thinking with this concept of trust and having faith in a person. Psalms 9, verse 9 says, The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name, and they that know thy name, and they that know thy name will will put their trust in thee. Now, think about that. Without faith, it's impossible to please him, for he that comes to God must believe that he is. So trust has everything to do with the relationship that you have with the he. It's with the he. Now we're looking at the the psalm of David, and we're in a psalm, another word for a, a, a psalm is a song, and... And in the songs, we're seeing David's heart. We're seeing David's expression of his God. We're we're seeing the expression of where he's at and what he's believing. So what are we seeing here in verse 9? It says, the Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed. So we can go back and look. This whole psalm is about the praise to the God of deliverance. So this whole psalm is about the God praising the God that delivers. And so here he's saying, he's a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in time of trouble, and they that know thy name. Now, see, this is beyond, can you say the name Jesus? This is beyond, can you say the name Jehovah? This is beyond, can you say the name Elohim? Can you say Hashem? Can you, you know, so, so this is beyond just can you, can you recite a name? And they that know thy name. See, it's not saying the name, but do you know the name? Yeah. See, there's a difference in me just saying something and knowing something. Right. See, there's times where I said things, but didn't know what I was saying. Amen. See, it's they that know thy name. See, no speaks of personal revelation. It speaks of personal experience. It speaks of, of I've spent time with and no, meaning I've experienced. And because I've experienced it, I'm acquainted with it. I have firsthand information. <clears throat> you know, I, I, can, I can see... I remember going to Yosemite and, and hiking in Yosemite and Annette and I, and we were up there in the mountains and we were at a place called Tioga Pass. And, and so before we went, we, um, before we went, we were, um, we had looked, looked at pictures and, and man, the pictures were amazing. And so I could say, well, I know, I know what Tioga Pass looks like. I, I, I know what it looks like. But when I got there, I really got to know what it looks like. <laughs> Pictures do, do not do it justice. I mean, when you're, you're looking at the, the Dome of the Rock and you're looking at those things and, the, the, you know, it, it's like, wow, it's just amazing to see. So now I have, I can say, I know what it looks like. I know what you send me. I know what the, the Nevada Falls look like. I know what this looks like. Why? Because I under, because why? I experienced it. So it's not just, it's not just, do I have an idea about God? See, it's, David is saying, they that know thy name. See, name isn't, name speaks of character. Character. 
I mean, I could, I could throw out some names right now, and, and, and as I say these names, you're either going to say, mm, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-hmm. No, I, I could say names like, you know, I won't even say names. I'll just say, say good time. Let's just, no, nah, we won't go there, okay? But you understand what I'm saying, right? Because, because there, there's character. There's, there's a character. There's someone's integrity. There's um, the way someone does things attached to that name. So it's not just I, I know about, I, I know, it's not just I know who that person is from a distance. No, I know them. I know their characters and I, I know their character in their way. That's why Psalms, I believe it's Psalms 103 where it said, where God revealed himself to Moses. And, and it said Moses knew his ways, but Israel just knew his acts. See, I, 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 wanna, I just don't want to see what God can do. I want to know his ways. I want to know what, what, how he thinks. I want to know how he does things. I want to know what, what causes him to tick. I, I want to know his ways. I just don't want to be able to just see the, I, I want to know from the beginning to end who he is. And so that's what the psalmist is saying here. He's saying, saying they that know thy name, what will they do? Put their trust. Put their trust. They that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. See, now, now this, he goes on, he takes a step further. He, he, now, he now takes it a step further, and now he speaks of personal experience. He speaks of Maybe how things happen in times past in his life. Maybe he's speaking what happened with his fathers or, or with generations before him. Maybe because then he takes it and he says, says this, has not forsaken them that seek thee. Has not forsaken them that seek thee. So here David is consumed with this revelation and this understanding of who his God is. And because he has this revelation, he says, I can trust in him. And not only that, he hasn't forsaken anybody. See, he's talking of God's character. Personal, firsthand revelation. David was a man of faith. He was a man of faith. Go, Go back to Hebrews 11. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hebrews 11. Let's look at verse 32. And this is a David being a man of faith. And what shall I say more? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and of Barak and of Samson and of Jephthah, of David also and Samuel and of the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms. They wrought righteousness. They obtained promises. They stopped the mouths of lions. They quenched the violence of fire. They escaped the edge of the sword. Out of weakness were made strong, waxed valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Now think about, think about all that. And he, and he brings up David. David. But what did David, David tell us when, when he talked about deliver? They that know thy name will put their trust in him. See, when you know him, it's about knowing a him. It's him. It's getting hooked up with him. It's having your own vital, personal relationship with the creator. It's having your own vital, personal relationship with King Jesus. Let's, Let's cultivate a relationship with him. Because out of that relationship with him and you know his name, then you will put your trust in him. Thank you, Father. I want people to put their trust in me, not because of my position. I don't want people to follow me because of my position or because of my title. I want them to follow me because of my character. Uh 
David had this heart after the Father. And, it, and that heart propelled him to live and operate in a life of trust. Real quickly, let's go back to Psalms. I believe it's Psalms, thank you, Father, 37. Psalms 37. Thank you, Lord. Trust. Having a living faith. Thank you. Psalms 37, verse 5. Actually, verse 4 says, Delight yourself also in the Lord, in the Lord, and he will give you the desires and secret petitions of your heart. Verse 5. Commit your way to the Lord. Your way. Commit. The word commit here, one of the best ways is to, for me to say is cease having control. When you commit something to someone, you're taking, like if I had my keys and I handed my keys over to Vic here, mm -hmm. what I do? I committed something into his care. I rolled it over on him. I yielded to him. Commit your way to the Lord. Roll and repose each care of your load on him. What? Trust also in him. So here we're seeing David. He was a man of faith, and we saw it in Hebrews chapter 11, 32, that he was a man of faith. But what, what did it come down to? He committed his way. Commit my, commit your way to the Lord. This, this is how David lived his life. This is how a life of faith looks. It's about committing your way to him and trusting also in him. And trusting in him, then what? That he will bring it to pass. Do, do you see this? This life of faith is seen in trust. Yeah, that's right. Trusting. Not only, not only being living a life of trusting in him, but also in yourself being someone that's trustworthy. Right. Commit your way. Go to Psalm 62. I don't have too much more tonight. Just, just stay with me. Psalm 62. Thank you, Father. Verse 5. This is David again. Now listen to David. He says... My soul wait thou only, only upon God. Only. See, sometimes in my life I have, I have plan A, B, C, and D, and then God. <laughs> plan A, B, and C, and then God will be this one over here, all right? So, so God, you're the last resort. <laughs> now, what is he? My soul wait thou only upon God. For my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and the refuge is in God. Is in God. Now look, let's read verse 8 together in the King James. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. That's Selah. So that's what, sit back and meditate on that. Just sit back and meditate on that. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Think about that. Maybe before you go, go to bed tonight. Just put that scripture in your heart and say, there, Lord, I, Lord, I will trust in you at all times. While I'm driving my car, I'm going to trust you. While I'm sitting in the doctor's office, I'm going to trust you. While I'm paying my bills, I'm going to trust you. While I get, get my son out of jail, I'm going to trust you. You see, it doesn't, it, at, all, at all times, at all times. 
some, somehow along the line, we, 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 we allow ourselves to think it's okay to worry. He says, I trust in him at all times. Pour out your heart before him. You know, I, see, God knows where you're at. He knows what's going on. He knows before you even ask. Pour out your heart before him. Hallelujah. God is a refuge for us. Wow. Thank you, Father. David was a man of faith. And his faith, what did it look like? It looked like trust. How did he trust? I know his name. He's a refuge for us. I know his character. I know his ways. Now go to 1 Kings chapter 2. 1 Kings chapter 2. Now, just think of that thought, David being a man of faith. Now, when someone dies, someone like a father dies, and they're about to leave, this earth and depart into, into heaven. And they know that their time is near and they know they finished their course and they know they're about to go on. The people that are closest to them are going to hear probably the very thing, the most valuable things that they have to say. Right. You know, we can look at Jesus in John chapter 14 uh, 14, 15, 16, and 17, Jesus is about to part because in the beginning of John 14, he says, don't let your heart be troubled. You believe God, believe also in me. And he spends the, he spends the next three or four chapters, I believe, giving the church everything that they're gonna need to be successful when he goes. He's, he's telling the most important things like abide in me and abide in my word. He, he tells them, hey, hey, you, you know, it's expedient that I go away because you need the Holy Spirit. He, he, he goes on, I believe these chapters, Jesus is about to depart. So in these four chapters, he's giving us everything that we need to be successful in life. And, and so here we see in 1 Kings chapter 2, I believe David, this man of faith, is doing the same thing with his son Solomon. So let's look at this. We're going to read just a couple of verses here. I'm going to read in the Amplified. When David's time to die was near... He charged Solomon, his son, saying. So here David's about to die, and he wants to tell Solomon something. And I believe what he's about to tell him is, Solomon, if you don't know anything about my life or remember anything in my life, remember this. Verse 2. I go the way of all the earth. And what does he tell him? Be strong and show yourself a man. Be strong and show yourself a man. Keep the charge of the Lord your God. Now get this. Walk in his ways. Keep his statutes, his commandments, his precepts, and his testimonies. As is written in the law of Moses. That you may do wisely and prosper in all that you do and wherever you turn. That the Lord may fulfill his promise to me. Saying, if your sons... Take heed to their way, to walk before me. Walk before me. See, what would cause someone to walk before you because you trust them? Walk before me in truth with all their heart. With all their heart and mind and with all their soul. There shall not fail you to have a man on the throne of Israel. Now here, David is about to leave and he tells his son Solomon, he goes, hey, remember this. <laughs> Show yourself strong and be a man. Yeah. Meaning, hey, you, you can't live on my faith anymore. Right. You can't live on what I've accomplished with God. It, you need to get to a place where you know how I got what I got. Yes. How I became what I became. How did I become what I became is because I put God first place in my life yeah. is because I kept his word in front of me. Amen. I kept his precepts. I kept his ways. And so God was telling David, hey, 
make sure they do this because as long as they do this, you'll always have a king that will sit on the children of Israel. And I don't have time tonight because I don't have time tonight to get into it, but S Solomon didn't do it completely. But there's, I want you to see something tonight. Go to, go to, go to Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3. Before I read that, let's look at verse, chapter 1, verse 1. What does it say? The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. So these are the Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David. Now we know what David told Solomon, right? And we told him to keep his precepts. Serve God with all your heart, right? So if he's following his father David, what did David say in Psalm 62, verse, uh, verse 8? Trust in the Lord at all times. Now let's look at what Solomon tells us in chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. You see, see Solomon saw his father live a life of faith. David instructed his son to follow God. And he saw his father's lifestyle of faith. I'm telling you, the world needs to see a people that live, are living and having a living faith. A daily relationship with a heavenly father. But something got down on the inside of Solomon, so much so that he writes it in a proverb, and I believe it came from his father David. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and don't lean on your own understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. What does trust look like? Trust acknowledges him in no matter what circumstance you're in. And it's in that circumstance that when you trust him in that circumstance and you acknowledge, God, I don't know what to do in this. God, they hurt my feelings. I don't know how to do this. God, I should have gotten that promotion, so I don't know how to do it. God, I just got this doctor's report. God, what does trust look like? God, I choose to acknowledge you in this. And when trust is released, then what it says, God will direct me in my path. Trust God long enough to let him direct you through your storm. Yes. Trust God long enough while you're going through trouble try to show you the other side of that trouble. But it's on this aspect of trust. 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 Go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Wow, where is that? 20. Thank you, Father, 23. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Mm. I th no, I think it's chapter 9. Thank you, Lord. That's it, 20, 20, uh, chapter 9, chapter 9, verse 23. Thus says the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. What does trust look like? It's not trusting in your own wisdom. Trust in the Lord at, with all your heart and don't lean on your own understanding. But in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. What is Jeremiah, God telling Jeremiah here? He's saying, thus says the Lord, let not, your, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Neither let the mighty man glory in his might, and let not the rich man glory in his riches. But let, but, but let him do what? Glorieth, but let him that glory, the glory in this. See, I'm not supposed to glory in what I can do. I'm not supposed to glory in how much money I have. I'm not supposed to glory in how much wisdom I have. But what do I do? Hallelujah. That he under, hallelujah, but let him that glory the glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. 
that I am the Lord, which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth, for in these things I delight, says the Lord. So what should you glory in? That I know him. Don't glory in how much faith you have. It's glory in him. Because glory in him is when you are placing your trust in him. Let me close with this thought. That I know him. Is out of knowing him, I can live this life of faith. Jesus, let me close with this thought. Jesus said, I know, the Father knows me, and I know the Father. Now think about it. Jesus was telling us, I know the Father. Jesus is about to depart, and he tells us that he knows the Father. Jesus didn't glory in himself. He gloried in his Father. He knew the Father. He knew the Father. He didn't glory in what he could do. He didn't glory in the fact that he could call a legion of angels down and get him off the cross. He said, I could, I, could, I could call a legion of angels and they would get me off this cross. I, he said, I know the Father. The Father knows me. And then close with this thought. What, did, what does trust look like with Jesus? Jesus is our example. The word, this whole word is our example. But Jesus, looking at, looking at Jesus, we knew he knew the Father. And we knew that he could call angels down to get him off of that cross. But instead of that, in Luke chapter 23, he makes this this statement. To you, I commit my spirit. Commit your way unto the Lord. Trust also in him. Jesus showed ultimate trust when he said, God... I commend my spirit to you. And it means I commit. Jesus saying, I commit my life. Yes. And think about it. That thought. Are you really going to raise me up? Or are you going to leave me in hell forever? Right. One of the ultimate forms of, of, to me, of faith is can you die in faith? Mm-hmm. We can talk about living by faith, but dying in faith? Right. That's mean because... Naturally, what's next? But Jesus said to you, I commit my spirit. That's ultimate trust. Wow. Wow. But he could say that because he says, I know the Father, and the Father knows me. He said, no one takes my life. I lay it down. How do you lay it down? I commit my spirit to you. Father, we thank you for your word tonight. I thank you, Father, that as a church, we're coming up in faith. We're coming up in trust because we're getting to know you. Father, let us not glory in our wisdom. Let us not glory in our finances, but Lord, let us glory in this one fact, that we know you. We thank you for it, Father. I speak life, I speak health, I speak wholeness over this church body. I thank you, Father, that as we get to know you and we get to a greater place of trust, I thank you that we are going to see you move in this church, in our lives, in miraculous ways. Show us your glory, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Do you receive that word tonight? Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. God is good. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, love you guys. Have a great rest of the week. We'll see you on Sunday morning at 9 or 11. 
continuing to talk about simplify, sharpening your axe, and talking about the word. Continue reading a chapter a day in the book of John. Also, uh, in the book of John, also remember on February 23rd, Dr. Savell will be ministering in the 11 o'clock service. So mark your calendars for that and be here for that because I'm sure, sure it's gonna, he's had a great word and season for us. Other than that, love you. God bless. Have a great rest of the week.